If you follow Ashes of Creation at all, you have probably heard about the 64 playable classes they have for the game. Players will be able to choose a primary archetype at the start of their character creation, being either a mage, cleric, tank, rogue, summoner, bard, fighter, or ranger, which while leveling in an endgame will give you a base set of abilities fitting of that archetype that you have chosen. But what makes 64 classes is when you apply a secondary archetype to your character to create a combination of 64 different playable classes. But these don't create a full brand new class for you to play around on, they apply what are called augments to your character's primary archetype skills. Augments work in many different ways, they can either slightly change up an ability such as mages teleports being used in substitute for a charge ability or another movement ability such as the ones that the tanks may have or they could completely change the ability in a way such as changing what was originally a ranged ability into a melee one they can also do things such as change the damage type and value or even change the cooldown period of certain abilities augments though aren't something that just come from the secondary archetype and actually can come from many different systems within the game you could earn skill augments from progressing in social organizations such as the Thieves Guild or the Scholars Academy. They could be gained from progressing in different religions, which could be considered a top tier achievement in that particular religion. And unlike most augments, religious augments can stack on top of class augments. They could also just be augments that were granted to you from the race you chose to make your character. All of these augments come free of charge, in the sense that they don't cost any additional skill points to apply. Characters will be able to have one active augment on an ability at any given time with the exception of the religion ones so it gives players even more choice in customizing their class in a way that fits their playstyle. some examples of these augments may be with the mage they will be able to use the four elemental schools of augmentation being fire frost lightning and teleportation one of the examples given with this is that a ranger primary archetype could have a charge bolt ability and when they adapt the mage as a secondary archetype they have augmented that charge bolt ability into to now being a frost charge bolt which can now freeze their target for an additional period of time. Another example would be with the summoner where your summons change based on your secondary archetype which could cause your summons to take on variations of the trinity roles of healing, tanking, and dealing damage depending on the archetype and the augments that you've already applied. This then sparks the debate you see popping up a lot of is there actually 64 unique classes in Ashes of Creation or are there 8 classes that can be altered with similar abilities? According to Intrepid, there are 64 classes. Classes are the term they are using to represent the combination of primary and secondary archetypes, and there are 64 of those. They may just not be the classes that you are used to. The classes that you are used to are those being called archetypes, but in Ashes of Creation, they just take on a different name. And although you may not find extreme differences between the Necromancer and the Shadowmancer classes like you would the Mage or a Cleric archetype, they are still their own class by Intrepid's definition. Definition. But perhaps Intrepid should maybe consider changing the name to calling them something else, whereas class has so much representation behind it from other MMORPGs and it could potentially be misleading towards new players coming into the game. This system, as you already expect, could create a huge balancing issue. While Intrepid isn't planning on balancing all 64 augmented archetypes on a 1v1 scale, there will in fact be archetypes that are better than what you're playing and those that are worse than what you're playing, and what Intrepid is calling the rock paper scissors method. So while the class you play may suck at taking on one archetype, it may be better at taking on another compared to other players. And the secondary archetypes will be capable of bridging the gap between other players in certain situations. If you've made it this far into the video well then you must be enjoying this content so please help the channel out by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up. Otherwise drop a comment down below on whether or not you are a fan of Ashes of Creation's augment systems. Also you should join the Richie SH Discord for even more Ashes of Creation discussion. If you are new to Ashes and have yet to create an account feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.